So then lads, we are here for episode 7 of the Newcastle United career mode. It's been a little bit of a while, it's Friday, the last one that went out. I don't know when this video is actually going out, but I've not done any since then. In the video today, we're going to be doing as we normally do. We're in the good start of the fixtures now. We've just went in the, into the November international break and we've got a tough games coming up. But doing a little things off camera, not like ridiculous things, just before I started this video. The development plan, I was looking at a couple of them. And I'm also looking at the contract situation because we've got some players running out of contract. So I'm, I think I might do that after January and see how much money we've got and see players that we're going to keep and stuff and who we're just going to let go on a free. But... In today's episode, if we look at the the calendar, we've got West Ham at home and Crystal Palace away. And then I might even play Liverpool at home in this episode. You'll have to wait and see. Because obviously in, in recent videos I've been playing two games an episode. This one I might just do three games. But if we look at the league table, obviously we've got Liverpool coming up. They're sitting second. Quite far away from top of the league now. So I don't think we're going to win the league this season. But Champions League football is, is definitely a chance. Seven wins, one draw, three losses. Also got a game in hand, so we could go fourth, but it's so, so tight. Like, we're only four points behind Man United, and they've got a game in hand. So, we'll go to the game versus West Ham, and we'll, um, I'll show you, show you the team that I'm going to play. So, match day versus West Ham, yeah, this is the team that we're going to play. Tino Livermentals probably is having two or three weeks away from um, getting back to fitness. So, obviously, Kevin Trippier keeps his place. Harvey Barnes in the right wing. I swear he scored in the last game versus Nottingham Forest, so he goes in. Overall, sound team. Let's go. Let's get to our boys. So we are West Ham at home. Let's have it, the boys. Oh, good chance by Joe Linton. It's a good ball in Linton. Oh my god, Joe Linton's had three chances now to score. Shit. Oh no. Oh my god, we're one 0 down. That's their first proper chance of the whole game. I got absolutely sent. And Phil Cook's made it 1 0. They've literally done now. They've done now, but it's not an excuse. I got absolutely sent. Like, I just committed with Botman and he's took a past us. 1 0. Oh my god, we have had so many chances off the corners. Oh my god. Like, honestly, I want to actually have a look at these match stats. Like, we've absolutely battered West Ham. 11 shots. To four. Like, we've absolutely battered them. I think Joe Linton's probably had about six shots in this game. We've got to, got to get a goal in the second half. It's all we deserve. Oh, no. He's going to score. It's 2-0 West Ham. Straight after half time. I actually don't know what to say. I really don't. Oh, my God, man. 2-0 down. Straight after half time. After I said I need to bring it back. Oh, it's going to be free. It's free now. We're getting beat free now. I don't know what's... What, is this me? Is the game changed? Has it been an update? Like, I'm getting absolutely pummeled. Like, this hasn't happened in recent episodes. I've been I've been absolutely pummeled completely. I don't know if it's because I'm... It's a different... I don't, honestly, I don't know. Gotta be, surely. Yay, yeah, we're fucking scored. Wait, I'm going to pause the game. 20 shots, and that's the first goal. 20 shots. 12 shots on target, and that's the first goal we've scored. Just been one of them games. Mark he scores. And there we go. We've got B3-1. Honestly, I've showed you the, 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 the stats after I scored with Mark A. 21 shots to 10. Like, 21 shots and 12 of them on target. And we've scored one goal. Lord, we would have dropped on the table massively there, like, we really would have. Not good. Going into the Crystal Palace game now where we've got to win, it's as simple as that. Looking at the league table, how tight it is around my area. Third to to even eight, I'd say. Six points is absolutely nothing in the Premier League. The fact that we're still in UCL is good, but when you lose a game, we've got to bounce back, especially with Liverpool coming up. Crystal Palace are 16th in the league. We've got to win. I'll show you the team. This is going to be the team. I want to play Mark Gay against his old team. I don't know why his fitness is 80%. I really don't know why. I've brought Mbemo in because I feel like I need a bit more pace. And he's a bit quicker than Harvey Barnes. For this game, it's a must win for Newcastle here. We've got to win to stay in this top four. Now we are. Crystal Palace away. It's a must win game. On oh, Bremo's won it brilliantly. However. He's offside. If score, but it's offside. Must be Whiskers away because... I thought I timed that to perfection. 
Oh, that would have been an ideal start. Oh, no, I actually thought that was in. Oh, we've had so many chances again like West Ham. Ah. Oh. He's that's onside. And he scores. Alexander Rees, that makes it 1-0. Great finish. Great play by him. Rebel, who's been really dangerous in this game. It's all we deserve. That is all we deserve. To be fair, Crystal Palace have had a couple of chances. Cut a... Around like the after the half an hour mark, but I thought he was going to be offside again. But Alexander Rija, Isaac, 1 0. Come on. Ooh, that could have been a penalty if he was one second earlier. Half time, 1 0. Stressful half yet again. But I think we'll have probably had the edge over them. I haven't had as much possession, but. Oh no, I've had more possession. What, what am I saying? Um, I think we'll have had the edge over them. Gay and Botman are both not hard. I'm going to try and play it out with them. But with Liverpool during the week, we'll have to wait and see. But second half. Oh, it's a brilliant pass. Oh, it's off the post from Isaac. That would have been a brilliant start at the second half. No. Lovely. Oh, it's a brilliant save. Oh, what a chance. What a goal that could have been. We're going to let us change player who I wanted to. Oh, they're going to score. Oh, I did. Oh, this game. I was clicking LB and it just wasn't changing. To the, I think it was Botman that I wanted to change to. It just wasn't letting us, and then they've just passed up. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, what a goal! Soon as they score, we score. Anthony Gordon on the left peg. What a finish that is. Running them away, fans, Anthony. You love to see it. Soon as they score, we bounce back straight away. 2-1, come on. Leaf Davis, that is brilliant. Is on side. Isaac, 3-1, the goal we needed, the goal to probably, I'm not going to say secure the game, but 3-1, that is a massive goal. I've not made any subs yet, because I was just so focused, because it's been a stressful, stressful second half, but it was just trying to get that, that, that final pass, and we finally got it. 3-1, come on. Oh, we're in dreamland now. Anthony Gordon, can he, can, can he get a double? Oh, he can! Yes, he can! Soon as he is, soon as we scored, we run up the pitch, and Anthony Gordon gets two goals in this game. Oh, you love to see it. What a finish that was. Like, look, we're absolutely battered West Ham. We just couldn't get the ball in the back of the net. And with Kami Arm, we've absolutely battered it. We're going to make some subs now to just get some fresh legs on, because the lads are looking very tired. Going to get Shaw and Dan Byrne on. We'll get, so, we'll get Harvey Barnes on. We'll probably change the midfield up as well. We'll bring Willock and Longstaff on. Come on, get in. Oh, Anthony Gordon. Come on, gotta be. Anthony Gordon, hat trick. You bet it is. 5 1. Anthony Gordon, hat trick. 5 1. Like, it's so legendary. We've still not changed anything on the settings. Anthony Gordon gets his hat trick, gets the match ball, and that surely is gonna be game set done now. And there we go. Big, big win. 5-1. There's Anthony Gordon getting the match ball. You love to see it. Very, very well deserved by him. A much needed win. Still, obviously, um, in the top four, I think, after that win. Improves the goal difference. Good stuff. So, some good news going at this game versus Liverpool. Tino Livermento is looking to be come back from fitness. If we have a quick look at the team, he's not quite there. Um... I wouldn't even play him because he's still got that little injury mark. Obviously, sharpness is really low, so we need to build that up. But we'll build a team now that's going to um, play against Liverpool. We'll play this game. We'll do three games. The only thing is, the fitness of the two centre-halves are quite low, so I think it's going to have to get changed. So here we are, Liverpool. So, as you can see from the team, um, we've had to change both of the centre-halves. I don't mind Shaw playing. It's just Dan Burns a little bit. So even Shaw's slow on FIFA. Um, I've kept him in because I thought he'd done really well. One thing to know as well, Kieran Trippier's rating has went down by, I think, 3 or 2. I think he started as an 82 on the career, but I know he's 83 on um, all the team. He's down to an 80 rated now with it being his age, so I think potentially you might need to sign a right back in, in January because obviously I think Kieran Trippier's just going to constantly going down. Leif Davis's ratings went up. Um, apart from that, everyone's the same. Obviously, Bruno and Isaac have been 86 for a little bit now. Let's get in the game now, boys. Liverpool at home. Liverpool at home, they're sitting second in the league. We are fourth. Let's have it. No, what, what, what if they score off this? Honestly, I want that ball straight at Leaf Davis. Why is that went to Dan Burn? 
Isaac's through. Isaac's one on one. Get in! One nil. Alexander Isaac. We've actually been the better team in this in, in this game. Alexander Isaac makes it one nil against Liverpool, who are second in the league. Come on! Oh no, Mo Salah versus Dan Burn. Oh, it's one one. Lead did not last more than five minutes. I don't think. The pace, the pace that's what cost were there. Couldn't do anything against the pace. It was simple as that. Half time, one one. Grand scheme of things, not a, not bad. The first bit of the game they dominate really. To be fair, we've only had two shots, and both of them, obviously one was a goal. One of them should have been a goal. I'd take a point from this game, so I need to try and defend well. Oh, he was on side as well. Oh. No, why? Why, 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 why? If I can't see you now, the game's bullshit. Oh, yeah, I can't be arsed. I really can't be fucking arsed. Like, can you say, like, I'm not like, being biased or bullshit. Like, why the fuck did he pass it there? Like, like, seriously? Like, why would you pass it there? Oh, for fuck's sake, man, that's it. We're, we're not scoring another goal against these. Oh, that's it. Fuck off, man. Don't just, they, they probably do deserve the win, but it's the fact that I've conceded that shit goal. And then it just puts you in a, in a, in a, in a spiral where you're not going to come out of. Full time, 3-1. So disappointing because I felt I could have held on to that game, but the fact that the game just passes it to fucking. Oh, I can't wait to watch this back because I'm actually fuming. Right, so we're going to end the episode off there. Looking at the league table, we've got a game in hand on everyone, which is good, but we're down to seventh. Then back to back home defeats have really hit with like a ton of bricks. If we win the next game, we go back in the top four, but it is tight. It really, really is. It's. So so tight around the top of the tape um from the top of the table, literally but that's your main episode boys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, I'll see you all in the next one. Oh,